and 8th commencement of Tarleton State University. <clears throat> I must say, this audience looks like they've had plenty of coffee or five-hour energy already. This is a magnificent day for the university as these graduates join the ranks of distinguished Tarleton alumni. To open the ceremony, the colors will be presented by the Texan Battalion Color Guard. The national anthem will be sung by senior music major, Ms. Channing Parker. She'll be accompanied by the Tarleton Wind Ensemble. Following the national anthem, the invocation will be given by Dr. Kyle McGregor, Vice President for the Division of Advancement and External Relations. Gentlemen, I ask that you please remove your caps, and I ask all who are able to please stand for the posting of the colors, the singing of the national anthem, and the invocation. Present arms. Please join me in the invocation. On this commencement day, while we have all traveled different paths to reach this milestone, today we are of one mind and one heart in giving thanks for these students and for all they will accomplish. As we reflect on all that is past and all that is yet to come, we are mindful of the many people to whom we owe thanks, families that encouraged education, teachers and mentors who shared their knowledge and experience friends who provided support and helped make a lifetime of memories. We ask that these graduates reflect the core values of this university as they use their knowledge and abilities to act with integrity, standing up for what is right, to serve and lead others with compassion, to foster a culture of civility, kindness, and inclusion, to respect and shape traditions for our time, to set a standard of excellence and strive always to reach it. 
May the gratitude we feel today inspire each of us to bring even greater joy into our lives and the lives of others. Amen. Please be seated. Well, congratulations, graduates. This is a glorious day as we celebrate your achievements. Today is truly a milestone for you and your family and your friends. You've worked hard, you've sacrificed, and I know many of you have dreamed of this day. These graduates have followed different paths to Wisdom Gym and this very special ceremony. Some of you became Tarleton students right out of high school. Some after raising a family or military service. Some transferred from other institutions. But however your journey began, you have all found the finish line together. You've earned your Tarleton degree and joined the ranks of Tarleton alumni, and for that, we are very, very proud of you. While you were focused on completing your degree, you may have missed a couple of things that happened around you. For example, American Idol finally ended, <laughs> but with 15 winners. Jeff Gordon retired with 93 NASCAR wins, and Peyton Manning ended his NFL career with a Super Bowl win. Like them, you are ending this chapter of your life as winners as well. Other, happen, other things happened while you were here. The iPhone went from the five, maybe a four for some of you, to a six. One direction went the other direction from five singers to four. Over the last five years, there have been 54 episodes of Game of Thrones, 24 superhero movies, and more than 2,000 TED Talks posted on YouTube. <laughs> Along the way, the university has changed too. New facilities, new campuses, new programs. We welcomed John Tarleton back to campus in the form of a remarkable statue on Alumni Island, a place that I hope a lot of you are going to take a photo before you leave. You put up with detours and dust, construction fences, and orange cones. Possibly more disruptive has been some very wild weather that forced some closings here at the university. But neither snow, nor rain, nor hail, flooding, or even a tornado could keep you from completing your degree. Members of this class have committed themselves to Tarleton's core values, tradition, integrity, civility, leadership, excellence, and service. They have put those values into action throughout their days. Let me give you an example. Tammy Tall finished community college and then enrolled at Tarleton Waco after the youngest of her six children started off to college. We love you, Mom. <laughs> you should love your mom. Tommy, Tammy has been a leader in fostering Tarleton Purple Pride on the Waco campus. Cameron Kirk demonstrated the excellence that we strive for here at Tarleton as a track athlete, earning All-American honors. He was a member of the 4x400 meter team that broke a 24-year-old school record and was an NCAA national champion as a member of the Tarleton Mile Relay Team. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations, Cameron. The class, the entire class of 2016 has given thousands of hours of service to this community and the university. Over 6,000 students, faculty, and staff volunteered for this year's Tarleton Roundup Day of Service and Day of Giving. We thank the student leadership for their service, including graduating senior Grace Lopez, who was a member of the Roundup Executive Committee. We celebrate each, each of you today. As you move forward, know that you take Tarleton with you, friends that will last a lifetime a network of faculty and staff mentors to call upon, wonderful memories of your time at the university, and you take with you our core values. As educated men and women, as Tarleton graduates, much is expected of you. I ask you to be the difference, to be the difference in the lives of others, in your chosen careers, in your families, 
and certainly in your communities. Live Tarleton's core values. That is my simple message. Live Tarleton's core values. They will provide a compass in a world that is both challenging and changing. And finally, on this special day, I want to offer you just a few more pieces of advice. And for those of you who are stuck in your um, easy chairs in, in front of the TV, remember this. There is no remote in life. You need to get up and change something yourself. For those of you who are health conscious, pizza is not at the top of the food pyramid. <laughs> Eat healthy. It will matter later on. Be on time, especially for your first job interview. That's a good idea. For those of you who are stuck with your phones, don't start all of your communications with a hashtag or end them with emojis. <laughs> Practice the art of real conversation. Occasionally leave the camera in your pocket and remember the moment in your heart. Keep wearing purple and white. And finally, say thank you. Say thank you every day, starting with the family and the friends who helped bring you to this commencement day. On this Mother's Day weekend, we extend a special thank you to the mothers and the grandmothers that are here. You have nurtured and encouraged, prodded, I expect, and prepared these graduates throughout their lives so they can find happiness and success. These graduates did not get here alone. This day belongs to all of the families and the friends in the audience, and we congratulate and thank all of you. And so I'd like to ask all the mothers, the grandmothers, the fathers, the grandfathers, family, and friends, would you please stand? And I'd like you, our graduates, to give them a special thank you for their part in bringing you to this day. Please stand. Family and friends, students, say thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize members of the platform group. Would they please stand when introduced, and would you please hold your applause until all are standing? Dr. Karen Murray, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Laura Boren, Vice President for Student Life. Dr. Kyle McGregor, Vice President for Advancement and External Relations. Dr. Steve Steed, Dean, College of Business Administration. Dr. David Druckhammer, Interim Dean, College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Dr. Kayla Peek, Associate Dean, College of Education. Dr. Barry Lambert, Dean of Graduate Studies. Dr. Jason Latouche, Assistant Dean, College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Representing the College of Science and Technology, Dr. Arthur Lowe, Department Head, Department of Chemistry, Geosciences, and Physics. Representing our Vice President for Finance and Administration, Mr. Kent Styron, Director of Risk Management and Compliance. Dr. Javier Garza, Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Management, Janice Horrock, Assistant Vice President for Development, Dr. Don Beach, Faculty Senate President, Becky Gray, Staff Council President, and Donna Stromeyer, Chair of the Commencement Committee. Please join me in recognizing these outstanding Tarleton leaders. As was explained to you before the processional, some graduates are wearing colorful cords that represent high achievement and academic honors. But there are some graduates who are wearing red, white, and blue cords that represent achievement and an honor of a different sort. They are veterans who we recognize today for their service to our nation. It is their sacrifice and that of their families that allows us to freely pursue life liberty, happiness, and our education. I would like to ask all the veterans in the class and any veterans in the audience, would you please stand so we can thank you for your service. Veterans, please stand. Thank you so very much. Since 1917, Tarleton has been a very proud member of the Texas A&M University system. To bring greetings to our graduates on behalf of the Board of Regents, the Chancellor, the other 10 universities, seven state agencies, two service units, 
and a health science, science center that comprise the Texas A&M University system is the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. James Hallmark. He provides leadership and direction in academic and student affairs, overseeing the development of academic programs and quality measures for their success. His career in higher education spans three decades of teaching, research, and administration. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice Chancellor James Hallmark. President Dottavio, distinguished guests, friends and family of today's graduates, and of course, members of Tarleton State University's class of 2016. It's my great honor today to join you and bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. Today is a special day as you prepare to walk across this stage and into the next chapter of your lives. And while none of us know today what the future holds for each of you, we do know that you will be well prepared because of Tarleton State University. The system and its members, including Tarleton State, have been dedicated to improving the lives of Texans through teaching, research, and service for more than a century. And you are now part of a unique segment of society, not just graduates of Tarleton State University, but more broadly, those with a college degree. And we challenge you to see this as both a personal accomplishment and also a charge to carry on a proud legacy of positively impacting lives by taking all that you've learned and experienced here at Tarleton with you as you advance your career and life as a citizen of our state and nation. Do not take this responsibility lightly. Continue your commitment to learning for a lifetime and maintain your leadership and dedication to the greater good. We will be watching as will your fellow graduates and to each of you, we in the Texas A&M University System say congratulations. Now, by the authority of the Texas A&M University System Board of Regents, it's my sincere pleasure to authorize President Dottavio to confer the respective academic degree for which you've been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. I wish you good fortune and success, and of course, congratulations. Good morning. Thank you, Vice President, Vice Chancellor Hallmark. We appreciate your visit this weekend to participate in this important occasion. Graduates, this is your day. Are you excited? All right. It is you we are here to celebrate. For this reason, a member of the graduating class has been invited to address the commencement audience. Today's speaker, McKenna Gillespie, for McKenna, Tarleton was love at first sight. She knew Tarleton was the place for her on her Texan tour. Grateful for the friends she made and help she received as a new student, she has been involved in Duck Camp and Transition Week. She has also been an intern in the Office of Transition and Family Relations. A member of the Honors College, McKenna has been a leader in the Baptist Student Ministry and in Tarleton Wesley. With these groups, she has served on mission trips to the Bahamas and to Peru. This summer, she will go to Belize and return to Peru on an internship. McKenna's sister Morgan is graduating from our College of Education tomorrow. Their parents must be very proud and quite relieved to have two graduating this weekend. <laughs> McKenna plans to attend Asbury Theology Seminary in Wilmore, Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome McKenna Gillespie to the podium. Good morning, and welcome to the 2016 College of Business Administration Management Department Spring Commencement. Greetings to my fellow graduates, faculty and staff of Tarleton State University, family, friends, Dr. Ottavio, Provost Murray, and the Distinguished Stage Party. I'm extremely honored to greet you today as this semester's College of Business Administration Outstanding Graduate. The diploma you received today will forever represent the hard work and long hours both you and your professors put into these last few years. From Mr. Judd Leach, whose wisdom is both hilarious and life-changing at the same time, 
to Dr. Sue Joyner, who would stop at nothing to ensure your success and fulfill your experience, to Dr. Randy McKamey, whose love for Hawaiian shirts is nothing compared to the heart he has for helping students. Not to mention Mr. Kerry Winsett, who word for word told me I could do anything I set my mind to, and Dr. Rusty Freed for going out of his way to see that it happened. You may be able to relate to a few of these scenarios, but whatever your individual path was, it led each of us to the same room at the same time today, and for that, I'm so thankful. There are a few other people I cannot be so quick to leave out. For me specifically, some of those names are Dr. and Mr. Stanley Stevens, Mr. Hank Jones, Dr. Otsuko Kawakami, the Division of Student Life, Lathus Towns and Mike Barnett, the Tarleton Wesley, BSM, family, friends, and the many others who helped along the way. As for every other professor, mentor, and guest in this room, I apologize that I am unable to name each of you as you deserve. However, I hope you know that every single one of you have a student out here who looks up to you more than you may realize. For those of you who came through Transition Week, you may recall Dr. Murray standing on this very stage asking you to email her five things you wanted to accomplish throughout your time here at Tarleton. My goals were centered on academics, faith, and personal growth. Google defines the word goal as the destination of a journey. Not only has our degree helped shape us into the individuals we are today, but the amazing thing about our journey here at Tarleton is that it is education and more. One goal I sent to Dr. Murray was to allow myself to relax and stop being the shy, small town girl I am. That timid 18 year old crying out of fear at her own orientation had no idea what she was getting herself into when she stepped foot on this campus. But this goal reveals she knew it would change her life. In one of his books on habitudes, Dr. Tim Elmore talks about the idea of windshields versus rear view mirrors. The overall concept is that we are supposed to merely glance at the rear view mirror at our past and gaze out the windshield at our new goals and dreams which lie ahead. It's okay to glance back at the purple pancakes at midnight, the all-nighters in the library, the ice apocalypse during finals, and the freshman roommate who became your best friend. This is the real beauty behind our goals after all, the journey itself. But we mustn't forget the reason we took this journey in the first place. So as you leave here today, may you never forget to glance back, give back, and come back to your initial destination, the place we call home, and the place where they will lay your flame to rest. But may you also set your gaze ahead and venture on to conquer new territory. Upon finishing freshman year, I made a list of the things college had taught me so far. One was, you won't get this back. I learned the hard way there's no specific roadmap on how to live our lives. No escape from the toll boosts or speed bumps in our tracks, construction detours on campus, and a continuously changing array of road signs on the highway ahead. However, it is these setbacks that shape us into who we are once we've reached our destination and we can take chances knowing the gates are always open back home. So as Dr. Murray challenged us, I now challenge you to embrace the journey and fill your tank with five brand new goals for your future. Because at the end of the day, if they were the only fuel you had left in your tank, on what journey would they take you? Thank you and congratulations, graduates of 2016. Thank you, McKenna. Your remarks, they were very inspiring. They were rewarding to me. I didn't know anybody remembered I gave you that assignment. <laughs> but you have represented your class very, very well. At the heart of a Tarleton education is our distinguished faculty. Their scholarly work creates new knowledge that improves the lives of all of us. As teachers and scholars, they define Tarleton's excellence. The faculty have been partners with these graduates as teachers and mentors, challenging and supporting students as they have worked toward this day. From our Texan tour leaders who gave you that first look of campus to the grounds crews that keep this campus beautiful, 
and to the team of staff who organized these seven graduations. Hundreds of staff members have also made Tarleton your home away from home and have helped you reach this day. Like your family and friends, Tarleton faculty and staff take great pride in your graduation. They've devoted their professional careers to preparing you for success in your careers and in your communities. Will the representatives of the faculty and staff please stand so that we can recognize you? And now for the most important part of the ceremony, the presentation of your degrees. I'd like to welcome to the podium Dean Steed to present and recommend the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Well, the candidates for the baccalaureate degree is from the College of Business Administration, please stand. directions was never part of the curriculum. <laughs> <laughs> Provost Murray, the faculty of the College of Business Administration and I are very pleased to confirm that these candidates have met all college and university requirements for their respective degrees. They've demonstrated that they have the moral character, the work ethic, and the requisite skills to become very successful and their chosen careers and their personal lives. We are confident that they are prepared to bring honor to themselves, to their families, and to their alma mater. Candidates, the faculty and I are very proud to have been part of this process. You may be seated. President Dottavio, these students are candidates for the baccalaureate.